The Mughal dynasty ruled a great empire in India for nearly 300 years, though the latter half of that period was a time of tremendous decline. Its founder, Babur, was followed by an even greater ruler, Akbar. We take you back to the life and times of Akbar the Great. Son, I think it's time to think of your wedding. Do you have anybody in mind? Mother, you know what is best for me. But still... Mother, I saw the daughter of Kachwaha Rajput Raja of Ambe, and her name is Maan Kuma. I like her. If that is your wish, let us get it done. In the past few days, communal harmony is deteriorating. What can we do about it, Lord? This should not be the answer of a responsible person. This problem can be resolved only if there is a common religion. Yes, what you suggested is right. Yes, you are right. We will have one common religion based on one God. Will people accept this religion? The world, as a creation of God, reflects the singularity and unity of its creator. And this concept must be conveyed to our subjects. This religion will have aspects of Jainism, Zoroastrianism and Hinduism. Now, we are not hurting anybody. What do we name it? The Din Ilahi, the religion that synthesizes the world's religions into a single religion. Long live the King of Peace! Huzur, a subject is here to see you. Send him in. Long live Maharaj. May your glory spread across the three worlds. Thank you, sir. What brings you here? Lord, I have fixed the marriage of my daughter and I am here to invite you to it. Please do not decline. Your presence will be a great honor for me. Sure, I'll be there. Thank you, Lord. Who's getting married? That little boy and this little girl. Stop! What is happening here? How can you sacrifice the childhood of two innocent kids to blind custom and tradition? See, they are still kids. They have a lot to learn and enjoy. Go and play. I express no apologies for my act. But Lord, custom, customs and traditions are meant to maintain discipline. They are not to be followed blindly. I order that punishment should be meted out to those encouraging child marriage. Education of boys and girls is compulsory. But schools? No one will stop your children from going to school. Education sees no car. Talented and the brilliant are the need of the hour. Huzur, why this gloom on your face? I am blessed with knowledge and wealth, but an heir to rule this empire is what Allah is not blessing me with. Huzur, have you heard of a Sufi saint named Sheikh Salim Chisti? Yes, he lived around some rocks near the village of Sikri, a distance of some 20 miles from Agra. Lord, he still lives there. I shall go and meet him. Oh saint, please grant me a boon. I have brought peace to this vast empire, but I lack one thing, a 
child. Allah has not blessed me with a son. I have made many pilgrimages to holy shrines. I have prayed most sincerely, but alas, my prayers have not been answered. You are an ascetic, a saint. I am sure that if you pray to Allah on my behalf, he will definitely listen to you. O oh, Emperor, be patient. Allah will definitely grant your heart's desire. Not one, but three sons will soon be born to you. Thank you, Saint. As a sign of gratitude, my first son shall be named after you. Salim, Salim, come have your breakfast. Thank you. Bega, I owe a lot to my people and I'm planning to build a worship hall for the followers of Dina Elahi. Uzur, a small suggestion. Yes, my love. Salim, our Jahangir is here with us because of the divine blessing of the saint and... And? That blessed soul should protect every mother on earth. So, why don't we build a tomb in his name? That is a great idea. This place will flourish with wealth, health and happiness. We shall call it Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri? What a beautiful name. Mother? You have taken a good decision. Yes, Mother. And it will be remembered as the perfect city. Allah, take care. What has happened? She lost her husband. So it is her duty to jump into the fire. But she is not doing so as she has a little child. I've got an idea. How dare this woman break rules? She has no love for her husband. Yes! yes she, she has, has no, no love, love for her, husband. her husband. We have to teach her a lesson. Yes, yes, yes! Those loving husbands who have lost their wives, please step up. I'm proud to see the loving husbands. Do you all love your wives? Can you live without them? Then you should also die. Go oh, jump into the fire. Who are you to command them? I am Akbar. My dear people, man-made customs should never be partial. It is no fault of that poor lady that she became a widow. We have no right to take the life of people. She is a mother. As a mother, she has greater duties and responsibilities. I order a center for hapless men and women to join and work and earn their living. Let us make our lives worth. We are very happy that ours is a self-sufficient kingdom and our subjects will never languish in poverty. But we also found something disturbing. Badsha, what is it? We are growing at a fast pace and too much centralization of governance is not advisable. I've decided to bring in a system of autonomy for the imperial provinces. I shall appoint military governors in charge of each region. Each governor will be responsible for the provincial military and will report to me. Huzur, we have come a long way. We have to return to Agra. Which road shall we take? Huzur, 
all the roads look the same. Let us ask him. Which road goes to Agra? Huzur, everybody knows that roads cannot move. How can this road go to Agra or go anywhere else? People travel, not the roads, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. What's your name? Mahesh Das. And what is your name, Huzur? You are speaking to Akbar, Emperor of Hindustan. We need fearless young men such as you at our court, Mahesh Das. Bring this ring with you when you come, and I shall recognize and remember you. And now, show us the road we must take in order to go to Akbar. That way, my lord. Mother, I am leaving for Agra to meet Emperor Akbar. My blessings are always with you. Where do you think you are going? I have come to see the king. Oh, have you? How very fortunate. His majesty has been wondering when you would turn up. Yes, now that I am here, let me pass. Fool! Shah Akbar is very busy. Go away! Please, brother, let me go. I know when you were young, no doubt you fought wonderfully on the Emperor's frontiers. But now that they have given you this easy job, why do you want to risk it? How dare you? Our good king receives all those who come to see him. He has sent for me. Now, let me pass. You can pass on one condition. If you obtain anything from the Emperor, you will give half of it to me. Agree. May your shadow never grow less, O oh full moon. I have come at your command, which none dare disobey. This is the ring of remembrance. Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? What can I give you? What is your heart's desire? Who is this? This is that witty man who showed us the way to Agra. I want you to punish me with one hundred lashes. What? One hundred lashes? But you have done no wrong. Will your majesty go back on his promise to fulfill my heart's desire? Well, no. A king must always keep his word. I order that his wish be carried out. Stop! How foolish you are! No, sire. When I came here to see you, I was unable to enter the palace unless I promised the guard at the front gate half of whatever I get from the king. So I have taken my half of the hundred lashes. Please be kind enough to deliver the rest of them to him. You are as brave and you have grown even more clever. I have tried in many ways to weed out corruption in my court. But your little trick today will make greedy officials honest. From now on, since you are so wise, you shall be called Birbal, and you shall stay by my side and advise me in all things. Thank you, Lord. Lord, these are the papers on taxation. I think we need to reform our methods of taxation. But this system has stood the test of time. Brief me on the existing rules. Land taxes were made in kind share of the harvest. We need to change that and give land a value. How can we do that? Prepare a detailed and accurate land register 
floating each land parcel's soil quality, water access, etc., and assess their value, taking account of prevailing prices for various crops in each region. By making taxes reflect the value of the land rather than the harvest, what do we gain? This stimulates both investment and improvements and more productive use of the land. Minister, also remove the pilgrimage tax to be paid by Hindu pilgrims to bring about equality among subjects. It will be done soon. Minister, I've taken some decisions which have to be declared in the court tomorrow. It will be done, Huzoor. To show my gratitude to those people who have been with me all through, I take this opportunity to honor them. Each kingdom has four strong pillars, but I've decided to call my pillars the nine gems of my core, or the Navaratna. Minister, please announce the name. Abul Fazal, Lord's Chief Advisor and author of Akbar Nama. Crazy Poet Laureate of the Court Raja Todar Mal Finance Minister Mian Tham Sen The Greatest of Musicians Birbal The Repository of Wet Fakir Aziodin Mistake Mullah Do Piazo Advisor Abdul Rahim Khani Kahana Poet and son of Bayram Khan Raja Man Singh Commander in Chief These nine gems will be treated with all due respect and consideration. I think it is time for my sons to take up the mantle. Huzur, but they are not ready for the position. They must show their mettle and serve the country. Now it is your choice. But before that, there is another responsibility. I wish to meet my subjects. It will be done, Huzur. This meeting has to be attended by the widows of Ark. But, Huzur! Let them be accompanied by their parents and in law. But, the widows never come out in public. Mullah, wait and see the change tomorrow. It will be done, my lord. What, what is, is wrong, wrong with our king? king? I think it is the madness of old age. I will go alone. I will not take my daughter. Why should we attend this function at all? Let us see what he has to say. Yes, Babuji is correct. correct. Then we shall decide on our retaliation. Correct, correct. Mother, bless me. I am making this move because of your memory. I respect womanhood and I seek the welfare of all women. Lord, she is always with us. Begum, I hope I am not committing a blunder. Oh, Bacha of Bachas, you are a righteous man and you can never be wrong. Lord Bilbil is here to meet you. Let him in. What a relief to see you. My Lord, the Shahin Shah of faith and determination. May the Lord be with you forever. Thank you, Birbal. Lord, 
you look a bit tense and worried. Birbal, I have called for the widows of Agra. I can sense your thought. I'm just worried about the reaction. Lord, do as I say. What is the purpose of this meeting? The king has lost his wits. I thank you all for coming. But I see my orders are not being carried out. I asked you to come with your widowed daughter. Uzur, we cannot phantom you. Let me put it bluntly. I have planned to get your widowed daughters married. There is no need to get excited about it. Lord, you are going against our scriptures and rules of Dharma. Doctrines are man-made and we need to change with the time. This is no reform. This is pure madness. I'm the king and you have got to listen to me. I would like to know how many widowers remain single. Lord, we are men and our needs have to be fulfilled. So we get married the second time. My baby left me with a small baby. To take care of the little boy and married the second time. Women are born to serve us. Enough! Like men, women too are human beings. Nobody is a slave. Just like men, women too have feelings of loneliness. Baba, is your daughter happy? I give her food, clothes. Happiness? Uzul, I see her cry every night. She's just 19 and with a kid. After my death, who will take care of her? See, Baba knows that his daughter needs protection and I'm here to champion his cause. Forcing others to follow rules just because they are rules does not make sense. Men created rules in a manner which helps men. We must understand the happiness of our daughters and sisters. Make each home happy and the kingdom will become a better place to live in. Sorry, Wazur. We realize our folly. I shall take care of my daughter's happiness. Long live our king and his glory. May Allah bless the eye-opener. Glory to the king! Glory to the king! Mother, when is father going to crown me the king of kings? Don't be too ambitious for power. Mother, you... Your Abhajan loved his people and not the throne. Mother, I too want to serve the people. If that is the case, I shall stand by you. Lord, I think it's time to retire. Yes. I feel drowsy. I'm talking about the throne. I understand. Jahangir must wear the crown. True. I've got plans for that. I've planned to visit some foreign lands. Once I'm back, I shall do the needful. Lord, please sign these papers. Minister, please increase the tax rates and then I shall sign. But in the absence of the Lord, Father has declared me the king and you do what I say. Yes! Why this unannounced taxation? What happened to our king? Jahangir is the new king. What do we do now? Let us go and meet Bacha Akbar.
What is wrong with this boy? Minister, change our plans. Let us go back to Agra. Son, why this haste? Do I have the right or not? You are surely my son, but you are a bad ruler. I wanted to make more revenue to run the government in times of emergency. But this is not the way. Huzur, the people of Agra are here to meet you. I'll be right here. We shall discuss this later. I deeply apologize for this confusion. The tax hike will be repealed. I owe a lot to the people and I shall take care of them till my death. Begum, Master Salim gave this to you. Where is he? He has gone out. Okay, you may leave. Salam alaikum, mother. I'm leaving the palace in search of peace. Father insulted me and I cannot bear it. I may be wrong, but he would have been a bit more kind. May God be with you. Salim. Minister Abu Faisal, talk sense to him and bring him back. Lord, please don't take this to heart. Why should this pain be inflicted on me? He is my favorite son. How much pain and penance we underwent praying for a son. Lord, he has not seen suffering. He shall learn things slowly. Please, find him. Salim, my son. Begum. My lord, why should such things happen to us? I've sent Abu Faisal to find him. We love him so much. He will learn things slowly. You take rest. Hassan, divide our soldiers and search for the prince. I will stay with you. No, I can manage this place alone. As you say. Who is that? Step out if you love your life. Prince, you are here. Your parents are in deep distress. What do I care? Son. Call me Master. Master, your parents wish you well. Thanks for the information. Now, you can return to the palace. Your father wishes to hand over the kingdom to you. What is it that is stopping him? You are still young and need guidance. Just give me a chance and see. Please come back. We shall talk and solve things. No way. Then I shall carry you by force. You dare not do such a thing. No. Come my way. I've seen such tricks before. No, please retreat. What have you done? I did not. Sorry. Come. I shall take you. No. You go. No. I am Akbar's son and I will face the charges. Abba Jan. Abba Jan. I might be an unruly son but I am not a heartless person. What happened to Abu? Sir? I shall explain, but before that, give him the required treatment. 
Who's there? Take Abu to the palace doctor. I stabbed him while he was trying to catch hold of me. What? I feel sorry. But son, I'm happy that you take the responsibility for your act. Son, stay back. Mother, I'll come back. But please do not stop me now. Abhajan, take care. He will come back as the conqueror of the world. Allah bless him. Law, you are not taking care of your health. My days are numbered. Please, do not say that. Birbo, I want a tomb to be constructed in Sikandra. From there I'll watch my people after shedding this mortal body. Why do you want to think of that now? No, Birbo. My intuition never fails me. Please, start the work. It will be done. So, Hassan, what's the news from the palace? King Akbar is very ill. What happened? He is always thinking of you. So? Lord, he calls you the conqueror of world. Lord, please come back. You may go now. Please forgive me. Son, Allah will forgive you. I know I'm breathing my last. Abhajan. Stay here. Take care of the people. Love your subjects and not power. Yes. Allah be with you. Hmm. Abhajan. Abhajan. There will never be a great ruler like him. He will be ever remembered as Akbar the Great.